Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to TPC, the People's Conservatory Online. Uh, my name is Raleigh, and today we will be learning a little saxophone riff for the from the song Symphony, which is a hip hop song Marley Mall did back in the day. It's a nice little simple riff, and it's good to get you started on something that has a little groove and gets you familiar with the notes on the horn. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first of all, you always know that when you're getting started with your horn and putting it together, have your neck strap, your horn clips in here, the back of the horn, you obviously do the gooseneck that goes on top. The main thing is getting your reed ready. So we've talked about this maybe in class when we had live class, but here what you should be doing is getting the reed soaked uh, with saliva to get it loosened up and get it flexible so it vibrates and you can make sound out of it if it's too dry and brittle it can break and be super stiff and it's just hard to get notes out of it <coughs> so once you've gotten it warmed up put it on the horn gently making sure that you keep your ligature around on the edge here so it has a little bit of the edge of the mouthpiece casing, not the part where your mouth goes over, but just over here in the edge. So just that far down at the edge and you can tighten it up. This is a, a, a leather ligature. You have metal ones as well. Okay, and then obviously you know that if you played sax, you read, should be just below the edge, just below, tiny, tiny fraction of space and lined up and then you should be able to get a sound. Okay. So when you're blowing, I usually have my skin of my lip under, on, excuse me, on top of my teeth. And you can do what you want with the top. Okay. But Relax, but tight. Not like, ah! gotta relax your jaw. And then blow. Now notice I'm not hot, <laughs> honking it. <laughs> but I'm just having an easy, take a deep breath. And actually, I blow, underblow it until, and I blow a little more, a little more until I get that sound coming. So I'm not lurching into the sound, okay? This is something you got to work on. All right. So, uh, once you're able to get your note and get your horn warmed up, let's go over the notes that we're going to be playing. What I have here is a little chart. And some of you may want to get it, and you can put it up in your room or put it up somewhere near where you're going to practice. And it shows you all the notes on the scale for the E flat horn, the saxophone, the alto sax. Okay? And you can get one of these from Amazon or anything. You can deliver it tomorrow, even. <laughs> Probably. Or you can look it up online, maybe, and print it out. Um, so I can find a spot for you to do that. Um, so. From this chart, I figured out the notes for the song Symphony, and the notes are as, as follows. Uh, the first two parts are ba da 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 da, which are A A C sharp D E, and then the second half is D C D C A. Okay, so it's going up A B C D, except there's no B in there. And then it comes back down D C D C A, up and down. So it's a nice little riff. The notes, <clears throat> well, the first note is the A is made with just the two fingers on the left hand at the top and everything else open. Okay. Then the C sharp, which is the, the second note, is all open. No notes down. Okay, and then the D, which is going to be your tricky one, going for all notes, no notes down to um, your octave key on the back, three at the top, and three at the bottom, the three basics. 
That's the D. And then the E is the same thing as a D. It's just that at the bottom, instead of three down, it's just two, those two. So three top, octave key, and then two. So in, in rhythm, they would go. And basically, that's the main thing you need to get down. It's just to feel and get those notes. And, and, and um, once you get that moving, it, all the rest of it comes much easier. You get your confidence up. Coming down from that riff, so going up again, it's... Oops, I'll squeak. <laughs> Excuse me. And then coming down, it's... Okay, and coming down, it was D, C, D, C, A. It's here on a sheet again. If you want to write these down in front of you so you'd have it, A, A, C sharp, D, E, D, C, D, C, move my thumb in the way, A. Okay, so the second part of it, D, C, D, C, A, going down again. The D is the octave key, three in the top, three in the bottom. And then the C is just one note, everything else off. Octave key off, middle finger, the second one on the top, and nothing on the bottom. And then you go back. And then all the way down to where you started, the A, which is two down on the top. And no octave key on the back, nothing on the bottom. Again, the, going the second part of the riff is... And this is a good practice of going back and forth and bridging the octave gap. So you know you have the notes all down with no octave. And then when you put the octave to key, you're bridging that, that range. There's two octaves on the horn. It's nice. So that's the basics of what you should work on. Um, once you get the notes and find the notes, then you can worry about the rhythm. The rhythm is what really makes music in the end. The sounds and the notes we hear everyday life, birds, cars, things, trees, wind, stuff is making noise all around us. But the rhythm of it, having it in a loop of time of a repeated number of beats that's what makes music and that's when we it's as soon as we hear it we lock into it it's amazing um, so let me know what you think if you have any questions um, that's the basics uh, thank you for joining the TPC online for saxophone uh, for pear tree I uh, look forward to hearing back from your feedback and seeing your extender projects. Please tag us on your extender video at the T-H-E People's Conservatory, P-E-O-P-L-E-S-C-O-N-S-E-R-V-A-T-O-R-Y. Uh, also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our TPC channel. There are more lessons and classes to come. Again, my name is Raleigh. Thank you.